Oh, it's so just bouncy and jelly and like, oh. G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton. So nice to have you with us today because today I am taking out the new Tiger 900 GT Pro. Yes! So first we're gonna just talk through the features that this thing has. It's packed full of them. This is Adam now coming down here. There he is. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting some sick drone footage, some sick action shots of the bike. But first, Nick is gonna give us a rundown of why why the hell the Tiger 900 is the bike to get if you're into this kind of bike. Aren't you Nick? I mean, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, so we have the new 2020 Tiger 900 GT Pro here. I'm just gonna run through quick features that I do with all the clients that get one. Right off the bat, uh, we'll remove the seat. Underneath the pillion seat here on the GT Pro, they are both heated. Heated yes. seats for pillion. Underneath here is where your Triumph connectivity module is already installed on the GT Pro. So click that, pop that open. Right in there goes your phone. Uh, nice little USB charger there as well, so never run out of battery, never get stuck with that GPS or any of your uh, on-screen features. So phone goes in there, compression pad actually closes down fully, pop the seat back on, call it a day. On the new 900s, a lot of adventure uh, features that have been requested with the removable pillion pegs. A lot of people beef and try and say, guys, why don't you remove the pillion pegs? Always breaking the stuff. So now there you go, the prayers have been answered. <laughs> Brand new seven inch TFT dash on the new 900s. On the 800s and the 1200, it was a five and a half inch, now it's a seven inch TFT dash. Four different screen modes, all features you can imagine. With the GT Pro, as I mentioned, heated seats, heated grips. Heated life. Factory bark clusters on there. Nice. Right? Self canceling indicators, cruise control. As I mentioned, the heated seat button, fog lights, center stand. On the GT Pro, you also do get the new and improved uh, shift assist, which is clutchless up and down quick shifting. Yeah, so GT Pro comes with all this factory fitted. So if you're really tossing about two grand in your budget, Pro's no brainer, right? Heated seat, center stand, quick shifter, that's already three Gs right there. So pretty much that is the features uh, in the rundown on the 900 GT Pro. And then we'll just go into the screen. I'm gonna kick the phone to the bike. Nick's gonna help us out with that, show us the way to do it. And then I'm gonna nut out how to connect the old GoPro to it as well. So I can be riding and just like control the crap while I'm on the fly. It should be sick. Let's do this. So I'm gonna just hit the home button here. Use the D-pad, Bluetooth, devices, search. Just <laughs> uh, hit the check mark there. Pops up one there. Press pair. Pair, pairing, allow, yes. Connected. There you go. Thank you. So, what's up with the Triumph app? The Triumph app lets you control navigation. Open up, let's see if it works. I'm just gonna save you the time, guys. It didn't work, the GoPro didn't connect, the GPS didn't connect, Adam's drone just didn't even wanna to connect to his phone. That's all good, these things happen. The connectivity guards just went on our side that day. Plus, there is this 16 page little booklet that comes with your Triumph purchase which explains how to connect your GoPro and your phone to your TFT dash so you can get all amongst the controls there while you're riding. I was sort of bummed there because I did really want to show you guys how to do this in this episode, but we're just running out of time. I hadn't read through the book yet. There was just, you know, so maybe that's something I'll do later on. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like me to do and I'll get amongst it. There'll be a link up here if I've done it already. If there's no link, then I haven't done it yet. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see and I'll get amongst it and I'll do it for you, baby. All right, let's get back into it. All right, let's do this. So the gears are really short. They just sort of like click in. Oh man, the riding position is sensational. I just feel like I'm sitting on an armchair and I'm going, Mah. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never actually rid a touring bike ever. I'm a touring virgin. If you've never ridden one, you don't know anything about it, then this is the video for you because I'm just gonna be explaining how it sort of all just like feels. Oh wow, it's got some go. Holy moly, yeah, she goes. She's, she, uh, she, she toots. So straight off the bat, this thing is very, very smooth. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the suspension. It just feels super soft, super nice. But like, this is, I've literally been riding this for like three minutes and it feels like I can just pull this around some, some sick rocks, some sick bends. It's nice, it feels light, it feels really easy to ride. You'll jump on this and you'll just be like, Phew. Very comfortable ride. If you're gonna be doing a long ride already, I'm just like, yes, this is the baby. This is the girl. And it does have a nice note. I didn't expect a, an adventurous sort of bike to, have a bit of grunt to it, but it definitely is there. It sounds like a Triumph. It sort of has almost that, you know, that twin sort of sound, but it's got some grunt. It's got some like balls. You can just get in there. You can see my legs are 
not too apart but like I feel like it's a nice comfortable position usually when I ride my scrambler there's a little gap in between the fire the inner fire and the tank where this is just it's just right there it's sort of naturally just leaning against the tank which makes you sort of hug it and you can sort of throw through the bike around a little bit more okay so we're sitting at about 100 k's I'll just pop the windshield up a little bit so you just push forward lift it up and that protects some of the most of the, most of the wind coming at your chest mainly. Like right now my chest feels so fired, it feels so dandy. And it does stop most of the wind from smashing you in the face as well. And if it's one thing, riding on the freeway is like you're trying to hold your head forward, you know, you're trying to fight against that wind. And then because of that, you start you do start getting a sore neck and sore shoulders, you get fatigued quite easily. With this, with it up, it's deflecting most of that wind and you're just loving it. You're cruising and you, you feel fine. I mean, six gear at 100 Ks, Engine braking is there. I feel like that's a standard thing with Triumphs in general. It is sitting at 4,000 revs at 100 kilometers an hour there. So that's not bad, that's nice. I can deal with that. Yeah, as soon as it decelerates, see how quickly the speed goes down. Ooh, see how quick it goes up. Okay, so to change riding modes, you just hit this little M button here. For mode, you've got road, sport, off-road, rider, rain. And so we want to go to sport, so you leave it on sport, take your hand off the throttle, you punch the OK button, and boom, we're in sport mode now. So that's handy. And so now to cycle through everything, you can see everything on the left hand side here, I've just changed the menu. So you can just swipe through there and you just have all your, all your options there. You change the screen colour, you've got your contrast for your stuff, you got your service due date, your trip computer there, you've got your preload for your pillion, for your gear, if you've got heaps of luggage for both of them. Your electronic suspension readjusts to suit your suspension dampening, so you can just set it. So now I've just pumped it right up to sport. And it still feels pretty comfortable, you know, it's like a tame sport. Obviously this, you're not going to be taking onto the track too much, I guess. Yes, it's not really a track bike. So if you wanted to stiffen it up, if you're running a nice smooth road, stiffen it up, hook some corners, you're gonna be set, you're gonna be enjoying this little baby. And that's your SMS overview to get your core history there. That's where your, your maps would be. And then back to the GoPro thing. I've got the low con contrast screen on now. So for the contrast, I'm gonna stick it on auto. Yeah, so that's heaps easy to see. And that's the cluster. That's the cluster while you're riding. That's what you can nav on it, which is pretty, it's pretty good. So the Tiger 900 has a different firing order that allows it to have a bit more like grunt down the bottom end. So you're gonna have a bit more of like a twin sort of feel, a bit more of a throatier, grittier. If you can hear that, it's just more of like a sort of sound rather than it being very smooth. It feels a little top heavier. I know apparently they, they've dropped the engine in this as well. So it, the center point of gravity is actually lower, but it still feels a little top heavier. Well, it, is a, it is a higher bike going around some of these corners, but it's still so very maneuverable. So nice. Oh man, those Brembo's are very, <laughs> very bitey. They just, they just grab and they hook in and they just grab. It's nice. And the punch is there. It's got some torque. It has some power. It feels very nice. Knees are hugging the tank. My grips are nice and warm. I've got the heated grips on now. The quick shifter is incredible. The quick shifter is like, if you've never used one before, ooh, wait till you end up using one. It is like, it is such a, such a nice thing. And I feel as though the suspension could just go a little, a little bit harder. I just like some more, something a bit more rigid. Quick shifter is insanely cool though. On the front brakes with the Brembo's, feel that dip. I don't know if you saw that dip then, but man, they pull up fast. That's what I mean, the suspension still feels a little bit soft. Could be a little bit harder, could be a little bit more rigid. But damn, there is power when you want it. It just goes. Oh! Oh gee mama. That goes, that is a... Uh... <laughs> and it just kept on going. I'd love to put this thing down a straight and see what it um, what it maxes out at. And the exhaust sound. That is a great exhaust sound. Yeah, this thing hammers, man. I'm actually so impressed with how quick this thing is. Damn, my bike's just so slow. <laughs> this is just a touring, touring bike. Ah, oh, the heated grips. <laughs> heated grips are a thing. I had a few convos with some guys on my Instagram about heated grips being like, man, I don't want to be that soft, but oh, they make a difference. As soon as I'm just taking my hand off now, they're just literally getting so cold. It's maybe about 15 degrees through here, maybe less. 
Air temperature is quite cool as you get through the into the national park. It gets really dense. I got these heated grips on seating number two, and they're cooking my hands. And I got the heated seat on a little bit as well. Keeps it nice and comfy, which is what you want on a bike like this. You just want to be comfortable. But like riding position, again, I could probably do with the handlebars being just an inch back. Um, no biggie though. Like it's still still hella comfortable. Very upright. Knees are in the tank. You can just maneuver this thing like crazy but around some corners and if you want to check a guy out test ride this i'll link it up here check it out he absolutely thrashes this thing and check out all these other videos oh there's the there's the abs <laughs> all right let's see if i'll clear this there we go oh how's the stand up oh wow yeah stand ups very very nice and comfortable as well i'm used to my knees just hugging the scrambler like right there but there's nothing to really sort of grab which i'm not sure how i feel about that yet it's super maneuverable very light the steering feels like it just it just wants to move around nice and easy suspension this is still stiff and i feel like just getting through this it's a pretty uh flat bit of grass though it's traction traction's just on being like no 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 don't do this don't do this <laughs> i'm in sport mode still i'm gonna switch the suspension up just quickly just get a feel of how how big a difference it is all right so that was on sport i'm gonna go to comfort and i'm also i'm also gonna go to i'm gonna change the mode ride settings so we're gonna go off-road enter do it adjustment complete oh la la i like everything's disabled no traction no abs no no nothing this is it eh <laughs> um yeah suspension <laughs> yeah suspension i don't know there's not a heaps big of a difference i guess like yeah, it does take it does take a lot of the the sharpness the edginess of the bumps out that torque is there if you want to go if you put some some knobblies on this man this thing will this thing will hammer nice yeah it feels good feels really really good feels like there's a lot of control i reckon you could hammer hammer through some dunes on this The whole step up thing is a vibe for sure. You can even grab there. Look, you got, got all these anchor points. You got all these points you can just hold. It's nice. It's a, it's just a sick bike. It's a bike that you can just literally throw around. It feels heavy like this, but when you're riding it, it just feels like the, the springy little little love chicken. <laughs> a springy love chicken. That's what this is. Uh, I love that. I love that whole step up and throw your leg over. Just it's cool. Yeah, the seat's nice and comfy. Really wide at the back there. Oh. <laughs> Man, it hooks. It hammers. It actually hammers. That quick shift up. Oh, <laughs> I just love it. Bit of a quick shift for the boys. Oh man, yeah, I could, I could just own one of these, just froth all around the countryside. I'd leave it stuck. I don't even know if I'd change anything. It's just, it's just good. The way it is, it's nice. I'll tell you what, you, the speed just creeps up on you. You don't realize that it just goes, but it does have cruise control. There we go. Ah, oh, so that's sick. Oh man, this bike is awesome. I've never actually used control, cruise control on a motorbike before. Now I can talk with my right hand, which is nuts. I can do both. I can do both. 
So what are your thoughts on the Tiger 900 GT Pro? Is it your cup of tea? Let me know in the comments below if you're vibing on this, if it's not really your vibe, if you prefer something a bit more. Ah! Uh, I love this cruise control stuff. I love everything. I'm actually really enjoying this bike. I can just do sharkers to people now. Stuff the nod, do sharkers. Well, that's it from me, guys. I hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe if you'd like to see this more of this stuff weekly. Ride safe, and I'll see you in next week's vid. Peace!